It's time for the Family Feud. Introducing the Murphy family, ready for action. And the Mackin family, on your mark. Let's start the Family Feud. With the star of Family Feud, Richard Dalton. But listen, I, I, please sit down. And I, that's, I, that was very touching, but I got to do at least 30 minutes of fun and laughter, and you make me want to cry when you give me that kind of welcome. And uh, I think you've succeeded. <laughs> it's our last show, and I have to tell you that uh, whoever wins this and they play, normally they come back, they won't. Why'd you do that to me? <laughs> because they love you, uh, Richard. That's very touching, but I'm double parked, and so we, <laughs> we have to get on with this. I just have to thank this crew. I'm going to say a few words at the end, but this crew has done every show that we do here, the shows that are on other networks. They've been with us nine years, and the men and women that work with ABC and do this show. I'd follow through hell. You're marvelous. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. I haven't heard this many laughs since George Jessel passed away. <laughs> We're going to play the game, and the champs are right here, the Murphys. Whoa! Yeah. You got the money the last time around, $5,665. Let me meet your family, please. Richard, it's a pleasure for me to have my children with me today. My daughter, Kim. My darling. Hi. My son, Michael. Hi, Richard. Nice to see you, Michael. My son, Ron the Second. Ron the Second. Hi, Richard. Welcome. And my football player, Sean Patrick Murphy. All right. Give him oh, a big welcome. welcome. He's a big one. We made history here. Yes. Mackins are here. Give them a welcome, too. Hello, my darling. I'm glad, I'm glad to meet you. I'm glad to meet you. Let me meet everybody. Okay, Thanks. I'd like for you to meet my husband, Jim. Jim, Richard. Richard, Richard. and our daughters, the blonde is Mandy. Hi. Hello, Mandy. Our brunette, Molly. Hello, Molly. Hello. And the redhead, Betsy. Hello, Richard. Welcome, Betsy. <laughs> Where's your list? Where's your list? San Jose. You came down from San Jose. We flew down today we're honored that for you're the here. last show. All right, <laughs> now let's uh, win some money. Okay. Come, we're going to play the few. <laughs> One hundred people surveyed top seven answers on the board. You got to try and get the most popular answer. Here's the question: Name something mothers make children wear for protection. Yes. Coat. A coat. Play it fast. We're gonna play. We're gonna play it. Nice way to start. There. Welcome, Jim. What do mothers make children wear for protection, Jim? Uh, hats. Hat. The way to play it, sir. Good name. Hello. What would you think, Mandy? I'm going to say a sweater. A sweater. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Molly. What do you think? you think moms would make kids wear for protection? I think they'd make them wear mittens. All right. Cold. Mittens? Yeah. Oh, well, I like that. I know. This looks like what we are. Oh. I can do better than that. <laughs> Don't mothers make children wear for protection? On a rainy day, I think they'd make them wear galoshes. Galoshes? Yeah. Gary? Uh, raincoat. Oh, all coats are up there, my darling. Which you gave me a coat, remember? Uh, earmuffs. Earmuffs? <laughs> no. Well, that's first strike. No problem, Jim. I can't think of anything. Well, just trying to think of uh, something. Kids would wear for protection. Gloves. You already have that. Uh, boots. Uh, uh, long pants. Long pants! <coughs> no, but that's better than not saying anything at all. Mandy. How about a scarf? Nice warm scarf! 
Sunscreen. Oh, that was a good idea. Ninety-seven dollars. Come on down, Ron. Steal it. You get the money. Pants, 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 pants. 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 What do uh, children thermal wear pants. for protection? Thermal, thermal underwear. Give me an answer. Thermal underwear. Thermal underwear gets you ninety-seven dollars. Otherwise, Gary gets it. Thermal underwear. You're on the ball. Thermal underwear. 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 Boy, my son, I thought I got a standing ovation. You were all straightening your underwear, weren't you? We'll be back right after this. 97 to nothing? Come on, sweet Kim. One there. Wish each other luck. Wish you luck. 100 people surveyed. Top five answers on the board. Here's the question. Name a state you can recognize by its shape. Yes. New York. New York? <coughs> Kim. California. California. Yeah. Play a pad. You play it. All right. Mike, how are you? Thank you. A state you can recognize by its shape. Uh, Nevada. Nevada. Yeah. No. Wrong. Texas. Texas. Yeah. Right. You got it. Yeah. Go. On. Get a lot of it. Yeah. Where do we go? In this state. What state? Hawaii. Hawaii. Yeah. Not there. Second one. Wrong. State you can recognize by its shape. Oklahoma. Oklahoma! <laughs> no! $55, Jerry. All right. No time to meditate. No. Come over here. Florida. State you Florida. can recognize. Florida. <laughs> so you got a big lead, Florida. Four. Five. Alaska. You're in a big lead. We will return. Pregnancy. I can got it all, 152 to nothing. I need your mic. Let's go. I can manage. 100 people surveyed. Top five answers on the board. Here's the question. Name a food or beverage you buy at a baseball game. Yeah. Hot dog. Hot dog? Play or pass? I'm going to play it. A food or beverage you buy at a baseball game. Beer. Beer. Peanuts. Peanuts for Betsy. Star. Jerry? Popcorn. Popcorn. Right. Who's a beverage you buy at a baseball game, Jim? Cola. Pardon? Uh, soft drink. Yep. Yeah. All right. Soft drink. Big lead if it's there, if not first strike. Whoop. Soft drink. <laughs> 250 to nothing. Let's go. All in, huh? 100 people surveyed, top four answers on the board. Here's the question. Tell me who suffers most when you're in a bad mood. Yeah. Yourself. Yourself. Sure. Three answers will beat it. Your husband. Your husband? Play or pass? Play or play? You want to play? Well, the second doesn't have a husband, so you never thought about it. Maybe your parent. Parent. Suffers most when you're in a bad mood. Parent? Ways of making you talk. Uh, yeah, all right. Uh, your significant person in your life, your best friend. Your very best friend. Best friend? <laughs> no. Who suffers the most when you're in a bad mood, Jim? Your children. The oh. children. <laughs> Three, forty-four to nothing. Come on. <laughs> you got Good time to make a move, Sean. If we're going to get in the game. On who? <laughs> you like slapping the San Jose? It's all right with me, Sean. Just one hand. Dollar values are doubled. 100 people surveyed. Top four answers on the board. Here's the question. Name something you serve with eggs. Yeah. Bacon. Bacon. Let's go. Something is served with eggs. Toast. Toast. Ash brown. Ash brown. No, first. Mike? Coffee? Coffee? Yeah. Right. Can you serve with eggs? Sausage. Yeah. yeah. Round the second said sausage. Yeah. All right. You can go first. 
Orange juice. Oh, Jay! <laughs> no! Would you like to be the champ? Yes, yes. Give me that answer. Ham, ham, ham. Ham, ham. we're going to say ham. ham. You'll serve ham with your ham? Mm-hmm. Ham and egg. If you do, it'll be ham all the way to San Jose. Right. Ham! Money, that's the main thing. We have a lot of people come here and play and don't, don't win the big one. And you get it. Also, Sean got through there with a hundred dollar lollipop and nothing on the board there but five thousand six hundred and sixty five dollars. My love to Billy James. Billy James. Great memory. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. I love that guy. Thank you for being part of our last job. Who's first? All right. Mandy and Molly playing for the last time on June. Right after we watch this. We're going to win it, aren't we? Go on, Mandy. I'm going to win it. You're playing a great game. Great. Great game. So stand there and make it for nothing. Great game. Mom and Dad came down from San Jose. Do you all live there? Yeah, I live in Tustin in Orange County. Do you? Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, we want you to take that money back home. Thank you. The last one. Let's do it. Everybody mentally cross your fingers. Fifteen seconds on the clock, please. <phone rings> Tell me, how old do you think Ronald Reagan looks? Sixty-three. A room where the whole family gathers. Living room. An occupation that gives advice. Um, psychiatrist. A part of the telephone. The receiver. A color of cake frosting. White. Very good. Oh. How old do you think President Ronald Reagan looks? You said 63. 75? <laughs> no. He said 63. Survey said. Oh. oh. I gave him a help. <laughs> <laughs> A good deed never goes unpunished. <laughs> a room where the whole family gathers. You said? Living room. Survey said? <laughs> An occupation that gives advice. Survey said? <laughs> Part of the telephone. Receiver. Survey? <laughs> Color of cake frosting. You said white? Survey said? Here comes Dolly Molly. All right. Mandy must like you. She got she 172. Yes. You just need to get 28 oh points. Oh, And you'll be... <laughs> you have to also have to thank Mandy. Oh, yeah. She I, did her I'll share. do that. All right. <laughs> 28 points. You'll be the last family, and you'll be the winning family. You'll get the $5,000. Well, thank Very you. Very last time I'm going to say this. Please remind everyone the great answer that Mandy gave us. 20 seconds on the clock. Tell me how old you think Ronald Reagan looks. Eighty. <laughs> Hold, the Hold the clock, please. Please, don't do this to me, Don. I'm going to ask the second question right now. A room where the whole family gathers. Living room. Try again. Um, kitchen. An occupation that gives advice. Uh, counselor. The part of the telephone. The receiver. Try again. The bottom part. A color of a color of cake frosting. Uh, brown. Right. What did you say for the? What did you say for the? Um... The phone. Yeah. The bottom part. Did you set it on the cradle thing? Ah, the cradle. Yeah, the bottom part. <laughs> Where shall I put the baby? What about the bottom part? <laughs> bottom part. All right. Okay. Oh. I hope a crisis comes up internationally so that the president doesn't see our last show. And both you and I will be sent to Grenada. How old do you think Ronald Reagan is, we asked, innocently? You said... <clears throat> early. I like a leading question. He said... Five. You're not alone. That's good news. Number one answer was 60. 
1960. This is obviously answered by people who are also being terrified <laughs> of being deported. What, dear? How old is he? How old is he? 74, is he? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say he looks about 65. I think his neck looks about 90. <laughs> a room where the whole family gathers, you said the kitchen. Sir, bet. You got it. For that. A psychiatrist gives advice to a receiver on the telephone, and the color of cake boxing was white. The matching is at five thousand five hundred and four dollars. We will return. We love it. So the Mackins were in our final winning family, and they won $5,504, and I'm proud of them. I've had the most incredible luck in my career. I've done lots and lots of jobs, and I've never, ever had a job like Family Feud. I've never dreamed I would ever have a job where so many people could touch me and I could touch them. And it was, there's a great magic about this show that I've never seen on any other show. I want to publicly acknowledge Howard Felsher, who's our executive producer. He was a producer in the beginning of this show. And he helped steer and guide the way that we went. And he and I fall a lot of times, but I tell you that he's important and I should acknowledge him because he was the one with me that we said, let anybody come on this show. Anyone that can play this game, no matter what color or creed, no matter if they're in a wheelchair or they have no sight. And we've had everybody on the show. And he was very, very important in that, and I acknowledge and thank him for it. I thank my crew, and I thank my director already. I have the best staff you've ever dreamed of. You can't, but you don't have to dream of them, because I'm going to take them with me. Even if I never work again, they'll just be near me. <laughs> they are so special and wonderful. A, B, C, Jackie, Smith, Wally Welton, Josie, Alba. They kept us on the air probably a year more than they should have, because we weren't really helping them. You know, our ratings weren't that good, and they were so great. They buried themselves carrying us, and I loved them for that. Not that I wanted to hurt them, but because I, I love them. They were good people. There were people I know that got upset that I kissed people. I kissed them for luck and love, that's all. That's what my mother did to me. There were people upset that I would embrace or hug someone of a different color. The first time I ever saw people of any color was when D-Day left from my hometown in England to go and free Europe from the war. And there was every color you could imagine. And I'd not seen that in England. And I asked my mother about it. I said, is there something wrong? She said, God. God makes people. You understand that, don't you? And I said, yeah. She said, who makes a rainbow? I said, God. She said, I'd never presume to tell anyone who could make a rainbow what color to make children. And she changed my whole life with that statement. All I can tell you is, this has been a very special nine years of my life. If I never do another thing, I've met the good, sweet people of the world. So I leave you with love and for the little girl that nine years ago I first signed to. I guess she's 13 now. I'll think of you every day. God bless all the little children in the world. Thank you. Some departing projections, In a time of uncertainty, laughter has disappeared, money is scarce, and dreams are meaningless. But there's one place where laughter is abundant. Money is everywhere, and dreams do come true. That place, National Lampoon's Funny Money. That was hysterical. Sure, we might be laying it on a bit thick, but if we touch one life, then maybe it was worth it. National Lampoon's Funny Money begins at 11 p.m. Eastern and Pacific. More questions. What band did Paul McCartney form after the Beatles broke up? More answers. C. Garth Brooks. D. Baboon. A. Boyer. More contestants. More winners. More Regis. Is that your final answer? GSN gives you more millions on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with Regis Philbin. Every night at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, only on Game Show Network. Let's play.